we have a funny like interaction with a lot of stuff in the house. One thing that Jesse does is hide snacks around the house. I do that. <laughs> because I don't like having snacks in the house because I'll just eat them mindlessly. So she's pretty good at hiding them because I've never found any of them. <laughs> and I also, th I also think that if I did find them, I would be okay. I wouldn't eat them because I'd be like, I would respect the idea that it needed to be hidden from me. <laughs> But just bringing in something into the house where it's like, oh, I got a bag of chips. It's like, not for long. Well, that, that bag of chips is going to be gone uh, pretty much in a day. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do you, have, do you and Chris have any funny household tricks that you play on each other? <laughs> um, wow. I mean, he might have a different opinion, I guess, than I do. <laughs> Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, I also, I also have a snack problem, <laughs> I would say. Uh, it's really more cheese related. I just oh. can't stop eating it. I love cheese. Um, <laughs> no, I, I don't think we have anything like that, but it, it is always funny to me when Chris puts the dishes away. Uh -huh. Like, where he decides to put them, <laughs> yeah. which is not where they go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, you know, so that's always kind of like a fun little game. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, e like e either I'll open the cupboard and we'll see something that I didn't expect to see. <laughs> or I'll be looking for something. And I'll be like, Chris, where is this thing? And he'll be like, I don't know. And I'm like, but you're the one who put it away. And he's like. Yeah, well, I can't be expected to remember. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> like, how foundational? How foundational are we talking here? Like, does he know where the knives, forks, and spoons go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does he know where like spatulas go? Mm, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty. That's it, funny. I don't. I mean. I guess I, I have a pretty strong idea of where everything goes, but there are there are some top tier things, and apparently I have there well, are some things that Jesse knows. When Sophie was saying that, it's so funny because <laughs> I don't I've like it like doesn't bother me, so I don't know if I've ever brought it up. But you never put the rice cooker lid with the rice cooker, and it's not always in the same place. Like I'll look <laughs> I'll look around. I'm like I take out the rice cooker and I'm like oh the lid's not on, and then I'm like oh it's not. Oh, it's not there. Oh, it's not there. Oh, 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 there it is. And like sometimes it's like behind something and some it's but it's like a fun little game. And our kitchen's not that big. So it's I yeah. look in like three places and I found it. Two points to that. <laughs> Here we go. First point, we have a pot that is very similarly sized and even has it has a glass top and it has a hole with a metal circle around it. And it but looks, it has a tall black handle. Yes, it looks exactly <laughs> the same, except the handles are different. That's one. Rice cooker has a short gray handle, and it's wider, and it's doesn't. It's not as thick. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, you have brought it up once before, oh, I have? and <laughs> when you when you did bring it In up, a blind rage. Well, was it? It was. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have a cutting board. And Jesse washes the cutting board and then puts it behind the faucet. Not anymore. I did. Tense. And <laughs> behind the faucet is where there's like water, and as a consequence, the board was getting mildewy on the bottom. So I was like, uh, "Hey, look! In the future, I know you put it back <laughs> oh, no. there, but could you please, you know, put it over here so that way we avoid the mildew?" And Jesse was like. Sure. By the way, the rice cooker top needs to go with the rice cooker. Just oh, so you know. Oh, that's so embarrassing. And I was like, but I, also I, seems about right. And I was like, okay, okay. Well, I'm asking you to do something, so I should do something too. And I, every time now, I have put it back there, to my knowledge. Have you? Okay. I guess I haven't noticed. But you also said that I put where an I I used to put. I have never put that there again. So. You're right. Right. The inner working. Well, we've it's trained nice each other. That your, at least your issues tend to get resolved. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we can dig up some unresolved issues. <laughs> yes, let's. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, here's here, here's one that I don't think it's I don't think it goes to the depths of unresolved where we'll have to hang up the phone with you. But ah. what uh, what is what is your laundry situation look like? Oh, because. I I don't even know what this is going to be. That's how unresolved it is. <laughs> that's why I, I say it isn't unresolved. Yeah. I, we we get our laundry back from the laundromat. I will put all of my things away, and then I will, because I inevitably am the first person to put the laundry away. I will then put Jesse's things on the bed for her to put away, and that's really because I don't like I know where the socks go and the underwear kind of goes, but after that, I mean, all bets are off. And socks and underwear are so easy if you just leave it there. But like, how does it work in your house? Is it like a strictly you deal with your stuff, he deals with his stuff, or how does that go? Yeah, it's completely separate. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I I wash all of our like sheets and towels and all our like communal items. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's com- completely separate. Oh, well, you also have a washing machine in your house. So you even do your separate laundry separate? Like you yeah. do the wash separate? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We, I mean, yeah, like our washing machine is very small. So yeah. it, it, it wouldn't really make sense. But no, we each have our own laundry basket. And you just do your laundry when you're going to do your laundry. And you're in, sh- in charge of your yeah. own. That's, that's nice. A, that's a cool method. I think what we do works too because we just drop it off but also yeah. I do need I think you said you always put it away first that's not true and when I put it away first I stack yours by category and I put away your socks and underwear and sometimes I even put away your t-shirts because they're in the bedroom but I don't usually hang your dress shirts because that seems like I don't want to do that no no <laughs> I would say been a, it has been quite a while since I have put away laundry first. I think it's like one in ten. Ah, I'm not upset about it. That's yeah. fine. I'll take I, that. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't even begin to imagine putting someone else's laundry away just because like it's so daunting the amount of laundry that I have to put away myself. yeah it's it's like once you get into the more specific stuff too, like I would never. I, and like you said, you could probably put away my socks and underwear, but like if you tried to put away my pants and shirts and dresses and stuff, it would be just like I would. Yeah. It would be like the rice cooker top. I oh. like wouldn't know where anything was, and like yeah. I also it, my have closet's a very, not fun to navigate. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a very particular way that I like fold things and like roll things up because right. you know it's like we it's New York City, so. We are literally the only closet that we have in our apartment is like a single one door closet. <laughs> right. You know, that's, and so you have to be able to fit a lot in there. And it's like, you know, my things like compact down so small and I like have them in all these different containers. And like, there's no way that anyone else could figure that out. And, right. You know, it's like I've, I'm a pretty particular person as well when it comes to certain things. And like every now and then, you know, Chris will like try to do something nice for me. And like he, he's like, oh, yeah, I folded your laundry. And I just like look at it. I'm like, uh, I'm just going to have to redo it. <laughs> is that a spatula in my laundry? <laughs> Why is my underwear in the oven? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be funny. Do you share a a closet? No. Oh, okay. So basically, um, yeah, so we have the closet, our one closet, which is where I keep all of my clothes, and it's where we also keep, like, our communal towels and everything. And then we have a space of wall, and then on the other side of that wall is, like, a little nook, which Mm. I don't know why that's how the room was built, but it is. And so I... um, I put up a little like uh, curtain rod mm, there, mm-hmm. and so that's where like Chris hangs all of his things that need to be hung. And then I built him a little dresser that goes in the nook. Oh, nice! So we kind of have our own closets. Yeah, that's good. I don't. I can't imagine a scenario where I could share a closet with someone. That would be that would be like having a bad shower. I think that's on the par of like necessities for an apartment. I need a separate mm. closet space. I need a good shower. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much everything else I can handle. That makes sense. That's like the morning routine stuff that you just like, it just needs to flow because you're not like a human yet. Yeah. 